It gives me great pleasure to be stood in front of a work by Pierre Soulage executed in 1962. This work will feature as a highlights and will be in our contemporary art evening sale on the 9th of February and will be displayed in our Barclay Square gallery space here in London. Not only is this work from a key, seminal, early transitional period in Soulage's career, the 1960s, but it also formed part of the private collection of the fabled New York art dealer, Sam Coots. Now, Sam Coots was a key figure in the development of Soulage's personal career in New York, but also a seminal figure in the development of abstract expressionism as a whole. There are two key elements that run throughout Soulage's work, and this is light and colour. And when we discuss colour, we obviously talk about the colour black. Black was the core of Soulage's palette. He felt that black was violent, intense, reactive, and therefore stayed loyal to using this throughout his career. The surface of the canvas comprises a rhythmic progression of blocks and bars of paint that arc across the surface of the vast canvas. Now, Soulage used a slightly atypical um, method of painting. He uses a squeegee. He applies the paint in various thicknesses and uses short, sharp movements across the face of the canvas. It is said that early in his career, he was at a moment of creative block and dismay and picked up a piece of wood from his gallery floor and started to apply paint with this piece of wood and was extremely impressed and impacted by the results uh, the paint had on the surface of the picture, so has used a squeegee since. In close inspection of the work, you get these rich, thick, impasto areas of black paint. Here you can see in the center, we can see diagonally on the lower right quadrant as well, that had this wonderful iridescent quality to it that bounces directly off the paint itself. When the paint thins, it becomes more translucent and you can see the white areas of paint coming back through the painting and the light is absorbed into the painting. You have a type of spectrum across the surface of the canvas from where the paint goes thick to thin and the play of light changes, it transforms, it transmutes as the thickness of paint changes across the surface of the painting. In many ways there is no two areas of this painting where the light play is the same. Soulage felt that light although not tangible, was the most important tool for painting. The current lot exemplifies this perfectly.